In this tutorial, we are going to solve uh, a very interesting question, which is um, the equation which we have here, which is saying 1 over 2 open brackets, 2 to the power x, close the brackets, is equal to 4 to the power 1 minus x. So, find, solve for x. Okay. So, we want to find the value of x. So, first thing which you have to do is... Uh, we, we know that um, 4, this is the same as 4, 2 to the power 2. So I can replace this with what I have there. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to say that this is going to be the same as 1 over 2, 2 to the power x is going to be equal to, this is going to be the same as 2, then I have uh, this. Okay? Now from here, what I have to know is that, when we're talking about uh, indices, if the bases are the same, for example, let's say we have x to the power 2 times, times, um, let me just put a dotted, times x to the power 3. If the bases are the same, we just add the power, so it's going to be x to the power 2 plus 3, meaning that it's x to the power uh, 5. Okay? That one we have to know. Now, if we have uh, 2 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power y, this is the same as 2 times x plus y, because we just add the powers if the bases are the same. Now, if we have, let's say we have um, 2 raised to the power 1, or let me just put 2, then I have 3, I have also 2 times, this is times, and then we have um, maybe 2x. Okay, What it means here is that the power for this 2 is 1, so we add the powers, 2 is going to be 1 plus 2x. So what we have here, this 2 has the power 1, meaning that we, ha we, we need to add the powers. So there what we are going to have is, uh, we are going to have... A 1 divided by 2, so we're going to add the powers. 1 plus x is going to give us 1 plus x. Okay, this has to be equal to 2. I can distribute this to 2 times 1 is going to be 2, minus 2 times 2x is going to be 2x. Now, after reaching uh, on this stage, what we have to understand is that if I have 1 over 2 to the power 2, this is the same as 2 to the power negative 2. Okay? If I want to remove the 1 there on top. Then, if I have... If I have um, 1 over x, this is the same as x to the power negative 1. Okay? Meaning that here, what I have here, this is the same as 1 over... This is the same as 1 over 2. I'm going to say negative, then I have 1 plus x. Sorry, I mean, if I want to remove the 1 on top there, it's going to be 2, then to the power here is going to be negative 1 plus x, has to be equal to 2, then 2 minus 2x. We want to find the value of x. Let's get rid of this. We have now this. I can distribute the negative here, so it's going to be 2, uh, negative 1 minus x is going to be equal to we have 2 to the power 2 minus 2x if the bases are the same then there is equal sign we cancel the base so the powers they are going to be equal to each other we are going to have negative 1 minus x is going to be equal to 2 minus 2x this is going to be now negative x plus 2x is going to be equal to, we have 2 plus 1. Okay? Now, from there, what we are going to have is, um, we want to find the value of x. So, it's going to be negative x plus 2x, we are going to get 1, which is just x. It's going to be equal to 2 plus 1. It's going to be, th um, it's going to be what? This is going to be 3. 
So this is the value for x. Now we can prove. We are saying that x is equal to 3. Let's prove if this is correct. Our original equation was... Um, our original equation was uh, 1 over 2, 2 to the power x. Then we had here, we had um, 4, 1 to the power x. Okay? So let's see. So we are saying that the value of um, x is 3. So we have 1 over, let's plug in. We have 2, then 2 to the power 3 has to be equal to, we have 4. Then where there is, we have 1 minus 3. Okay. So what we have there, 1, uh, we are going to have 1 over. This is going to give us, uh, this is going to give us 2 times 2, which is 4, which is going to be 8. Then 8 times 2 is going to give us 16. So this is going to be 1 over 16. It's going to be equal to, we are going to have 4 raised to the power negative 2. Now, this 4 raised to the power negative 2, it is the same as, it is the same as 1 over 4 to the power 2. So we have 1 over 16, it's going to be equal to 1 over 4 to the power 2. So 1 over 16 is going to be equal to, this is going to give us 4 squared is 16. So as we can see, the left hand side, the left hand side, okay, the left hand side, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So we have proved to say x is equal to 3 is indeed correct answer. Okay.